hello everyone this is the oracle of the feather crown tree this is your crown chakra reading for sundays that i do every week there's a different chakra representative of each day of the week starting with the root on monday this first card out is going to be from living with a feather heart oracle and it is i live in truth the hermetic principle of polarity describes the dual nature of reality in such a way that reconciles the very notion, stating that all truths are but half-truths, and every truth is half-false. This complicated paradox may cause us to wonder, what is truth anyway? In looking at truth beyond the esoteric lens and into what is in the present moment, this malleable concept may ideally be understood as a choice to live in alignment with what is authentic to your true instinct, the heart of your soul's song. When we are out of alignment with truth, the heart can feel heavy, anchored in the weight of deceit to self, paralyzed by inauthentic action. The, the venomous energy of dishonesty constricts the potential to be a creator within a consciously creative reality as the space in which your soul orbits spirals into discord. In looking at life, at a life of truth as an ideal to strive toward, let us be reminded of the serpent as an energetic metaphor. The serpent moves through life fluidly, following intuition, allowing its senses to guide its actions, and does not question movement, but rather follows an instinctual truth. As time goes by, the serpent sheds its skin, letting go of what is no longer necessary, slightly transformed, but still ever-evolving and consistently moving with the momentum of our soul's song. In our human existence, we are presented with daily obstacles and potentially difficult personalities that will cause us to instinctually tell a half-truth or say something half-false. But if we try to stay in alignment with our first intuition, and speak less, teach more, we anchor our awareness in authenticity. For every true no we say, we remain in alignment with more yes. And what may feel in opposition is actually a reconciliation with duality. The snake sheds its skin when it know when it is no longer necessary. But it is still the same snake. If we remember to shed what is in discord with our truth, as no longer in alignment with our soul's song, we become who we truly are, transformed. And to complement this last card, we are going to take one representing the divine chakra from the Divine Feminine Oracle. And we have Khadijah, the mother of believers. I am spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. There's an ancient narrative and a destructive misunderstanding that if we are going to be spiritual, then we have to renounce the material world. The body, however, is the soul's chance to be here. So a healthy relationship to the material world is crucial and integral to reaching our spiritual potential. Kadisha represents the power and importance of knowing we can provide for ourselves. 
This power gives us roots and confidence and allows us to create relationships from a place of interdependence rather than codependence. We can cultivate the capacity we have to create more and more freedom for ourselves. And we can make choices for our life based on truth, not just on survival. There's also a false idea about when true love will find us and how. Khadija liberates us from fairy tales that need to be saved, in which we need to be saved or supported or provided for by a life partner. She provided for the prophet and her older age and significant status in the community made her more attractive, not less. She was a middle-aged businesswoman and single mom. She was ripe with resources and ripened with opportunities to love. Living into our true power and purpose does not make us eligible. She reminds us that there is no linear timetable that illuminates us from having the sun descend in our courtyard. She lets us remember that we are worthy of the abundance measured in gold and the abundance measured in the depth of our love. A meditation for this is, do I feel worthy of abundance? And the intention, I am spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. And we are done with this reading for today. I do hope that you've enjoyed. Please feel free to check out any of the other themed readings I have on my channel. So happy to share them with you. Sending me blessings and wishings for a beautiful, prosperous day.